driving out evil spirits. How about you say driving out evil spirits? In Luke chapter 8, verse 1 and 2. Luke chapter 8, verse 1 and 2. And it came to pass afterward that he went throughout every city and village preaching and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God. And the twelve were with him. And certain women which had been healed of evil spirits. That's where I got my, my, that word. Which will have been healed of what? Evil spirits and infirmities. Mary called Magdalene out of whom went seven devils. And Joanna, I'm reading verse 3 now, the wife of Chusa, Herod Stewart, and Susanna, and many other which ministered unto him of their substance. You hear that? That Jesus Christ, as he was going from city to city, preaching in the village, just like what we are doing with our Jesus Park crusades, preaching and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God, Tell people to repent. Tell people that Adam committed a sin. The sin was passed on to all of us. We are suffering the sin of Adam. It's not your sin. I take you to hell. First and foremost, the sin of Adam. Then your own combined because your own is not from God. The sin you commit is from still the spirit of Satan that was in Adam. That's why if you do what is satanic, then you follow Satan to hellfire. So he was preaching this, king, this glad tidings, good news of the kingdom of God. And the twelve were with him, the disciples were with him. The Bible now told us of certain women which shall be of heal of evil spirit. He got them converted. First thing did he cast out evil spirit from them. And then after that, he 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 healed them of infirmities. He said, healed of evil spirits, healed of infirmities. There is something called healed of evil spirits. Doctors can never heal you of evil spirits. I said they are born again and they throw away their stethoscope and carry Bible. It's only from scripture you can be healed of evil spirits. And if you have evil spirits and it's one that causes sickness in your body and you go to hospital for treatment, you will take all the gesture, all the tablet, everything, you will not be healed. Because evil spirits, they don't listen to ejection. They don't know, understand tablets. Are you hearing me? Many, many people are dying and suffering and going away because what, what they are suffering of is not normal sickness. There is normal sickness. Is that clear? There is abnormal sickness. A spiritual sick, sickness caused by evil spirits. There are demons that are causing sickness. Satan releases them everywhere. And they cause sickness on people. No medicine, that is why this kind of message is very important. In fact, this one should be filled with people who, have, who need to be free from evil spirits. Because doctors can't, cast, can't take away evil spirits. Medicine can't take away evil spirits. Two people will have the same sickness, the same kind of sickness. You go to hospital. One gets healed by treatment. The other one, no matter what they treat, dies off. Because what he's suffering of is evil spirits. He needs to be healed of evil spirit. Everybody say, be healed of evil spirit. There are evil spirits that somebody needs to be healed of. If you don't know that, you just remain suffering. Like the case mommy gave, he looked at him as level to 13, of a woman with the spirit of infirmity for 18 years. She was bent over. The doctor, we call it different, all kinds of names. Arthritis, uh, cleopatitis, um, paralysis, all the CCs, CCs, CCs. They will be CC, 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 the person will be dying. They say, that, okay, let's try this one. What always amazes me is when you want, go to one doctor, he will say one thing. You go to another doctor, he will say something totally different. I say, our lives are in danger. If two doctors cannot say the same thing, then your life is in danger. They can't say the same thing because the senses are not. They are not perfect. Your sense of sight, your sense of smell, your taste, feeling, smell, taste, all of them, sound and sight, they are not perfect. Do we all see the same way? Do we all taste the same thing? We don't. At the time, my nose blocked. 
if you if you mess, I will not feel it. I will not know. All of a sudden, it will open again. I said, do I even like it to open? So that I can now smell, smell. <laughs> Did you open again? And then some people carry some certain perfume. When they get close to me, I begin to feel bad. So we don't see the same way. That is why doctors will not say the same thing. The way one doctor will see it is not the way another doctor will see it. The way they will interpret your, 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 the result of your lab test may not be the way another person will interpret it. And so we have diverse kinds of results that you need God. But that is okay if it's just a normal sickness. You allow mosquito to bite you, they tested you, there's mosquito in your blood or malaria in your blood, and so you take medicine. That's all right. But we are saying that there are sicknesses and diseases that are caused by evil spirits. No matter what medicine you drink, they don't list it. A woman was giving an injection in, in, in Jude to sleep. She refused to sleep. They gave her double dick, more than normal. She was still smiling. Then they called me to that place. Say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke you, foul devil. Sleep! And that was when she was able to sleep. The mercy could not induce her to sleep, but prayer did. Because there were evil spirits. Sometimes begin to take overdose, overdose. One boy had an exam. He took three tablets of uh, uh, mercy. Malaria. He didn't go. He took when he saw it was not, and he had an exam two or three days later. He started taking overdose. He took three. He didn't go. If this is what I will tell you, make me heal. Let me take another three. Uh -huh. Let me let me take another three. By the time she, he took it, in time he went to heaven. So you can be frustrated when you are suffering of evil spirit, and all you needed was prayer from a man of God, or even you. You foul devil, torment him alive. Get out of my life. You just switch yourself into the spirit realm. Uh, like o o Oliver told us, Pastor Oliver said we should die. But don't be, don't faint. <laughs> Amen. Pray until you die. Tell your neighbor, pray until you die. <laughs> they won't understand. I cannot. <laughs> we are not saying die in the flesh. Die to the flesh. A life in the spirit. When your flesh is no longer talking, it's your spirit that is talking. Like as I was laying hands now, I've told God, it's not me. You may just come and say, because you are eating granola with me, you say, is it not normal pastor? No, it's different. I'm different. You understand? It's like when you're relating with your wife. It, I can relate with my wife as a wife. I can also relate with her as her husband, as a as her pastor. If I'm talking to her as a pastor, I'm different. Are you hearing me? But if I'm talking to her as a wife, it's different. You are relating with me as your pastor is different. If you are relating with me as a friend, it's different. But when it comes to spirituality, we relate as pastors. Are you hearing me? We don't undermine what you, the, the anointing you have in the house. So there are spiritual healing people needed. Is sick. The body is sick. Demons are responsible. That demon needs to be cast out. Witchcrafting and wizardry is a spirit. It needs to be cast out. So many sicknesses are caused by evil spirit. And if you know anybody suffering that same thing, all through this, we bring them to church. Bring them on Wednesday, we pray for them. Bring them on Sunday, we pray for them. Are you hearing me? Tell them to come and book for prayer on Tuesday and or Thursday. We pray for them. And chase that foul devil of them. Praise the name of the Lord. So, these women were free from evil spirits. And they came and ministered to Jesus. They cooked food for him. They were very happy to know that they can be free. And this evil spirit, you can be healed of evil spirit, not only spirit of infirmity. See, the one of sickness is called infirmities. But there is the one of, of the spirit. That is your spiritual life, for example. You can be healed of the spirit of, a, of evil spirit that is not allowing you to pray. Hope you know there are evil spirits that will not allow you to pray. Come on, talk to me. There are evil, even if you don't know, I'm telling you now. There are evil spirits that will not allow you to do what? To pray. You need to be healed of that. 
there are evil spirits that will not allow you to come to church. You need to be healed of that. The moment you think of going to church, he says, oh, what am I going to If I had a car pass out on now, it's about to rain. It's an evil spirit. You are sick. Tell someone close to you. Anytime you don't come to church, you are sick of it. You are sick of evil spirit. An evil spirit will tell you, don't go to choir practice. Choir. That, that Thursday you didn't come. It's an evil spirit that made you not to come. You are sick of an evil spirit. He said, don't go. We don't need to go today. Just forget it. It's an evil spirit that will not allow you to go to choir practice. It's an evil spirit that will not allow you to live a holy life. He said, just live anyhow. It doesn't matter. Just, you are sick of evil spirit. It's an evil spirit that causes sicknesses to many, many people. Not all sickness are evil spirit, but evil spirit. Not all uh, you not coming are called by evil spirit because there are times you have reason not to come. Let's balance it. Hope you know that. Hope you know that. But when you have no genuine excuse for not coming to church, for not coming to a choir practice, for not coming to prayer band meeting, for not coming for ushering meeting, for not coming for any meeting, for, an evil spirit will be inspiring you. Evil spirit speak to everybody. You are not, there is no amount of holiness you are rich that evil spirit cannot talk to you. Are you hearing me? If they can talk to Jesus, who are you that they can't talk to? In Luke chapter 4, Bible says, an evil spirit took him to the high mountain and said, all this I will give you. Evil spirit talk to Jesus. And you think they can't talk to you? They talk to everybody. But you can resist them and they will flee. Are you hearing me? It's an evil spirit. That make you to continually be late to church. Late to church. An evil spirit. You need to be healed of that evil spirit. You need to be healed of the evil spirit that makes you to be quarreling with your wife, quarreling with your husband all the time. Quarrel, quarrel, quarrel. So if even their children will be separated them from fight. Their own children that they should give you an example. They are the ones who say, Daddy, don't do now. Mommy, ah, it's okay now. My daddy, daddy, mommy. That was the evil spirit causing trouble. You need to be healed of evil spirit. I pray almost every area of life. An evil spirit will tell you, don't, you don't need to go to school. Evil spirit. Look for initial, you say, I don't need it. Go to school, you say, I, if I, I'm tired of school. You see that home. An evil spirit will tell you not to read for your book, uh, your, not to read your book. That you can copy, copy, and do all these fraudulent practices and pass the exam anyhow. Evil spirit. You need to be healed of all of them. And this month is your healing. As I'm talking now, any area evil spirit is tormenting you, you are healed. I say you are healed in the name of Jesus Christ. You are related with somebody who can help you, and you, you are flowing very well all of a sudden. Evil spirit will come and cause sickness of hatred. You need to be healed of an evil spirit in your relationship with people. Are you hearing me? Those who will do you well, you just, you just create a hatred. You just wonder, what is happening? But should there be any such sickness, today marks the end of it all. In the name of Jesus Christ. 